What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. Guys, I got white overspray on my paint. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, it just happened today, so I think we're gonna be okay, but I'm gonna show you around the vehicle. It is a very fine white overspray. It seems to be all over the vehicle. There's not just one area that has it. It's all over the paint, the glass, the trim, and I haven't washed this vehicle since the weekend, but it does have good protection. So I am hoping that it will wash right off. If it doesn't, then we'll go over to some other alternatives to try to remove that overspray. But as you can see, it is all over the paint, all over the glass. And when you see something like this, your heart just drops. You don't want overspray on your vehicle. And if you let it sit on there for any amount of time, it gets worse and worse. So when you see overspray, you want to address it immediately. Now, some of it seems to be coming right off with just a little bit of a swipe, a gentle swipe with my finger. Some of it seems to be adhered onto the paint and the glass pretty good. And you can actually hear it as well. You can hear that texture on there. So guys, if you enjoy content like this, and I hope you do, then consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. And don't forget to click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you wanna pick up some apparel, some of our shirts, our hoodies, or even our mugs, then click on the links down below and you can purchase any of those items and the funds from those items go into an account for giveaways on our channel. So definitely consider checking it out. So hopefully the wash will be able to take care of it. If not, we'll have to clay bar it and then go further if need be. So let's go ahead, start to wash the vehicle and we'll see what happens. So guys, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Turtle Wax Ice wash and wax. I've been using this shampoo for a couple of weeks now and I actually really like it. It's a nice shampoo. And I also got this really nice nozzle here. I'll put links to this down below. It's like a little mini fire hose nozzle because the other plastic one that I had on here keep, kept breaking. I had like a little tiny one. This one seems pretty substantial. So I also am using hot water in here. I just filled up with warm water to about there and filled the rest up with cold water and we should be fine. So let's rinse the paint and see what happens. So the Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine, incredible. I love that stuff. Man, it does so well. So let's rinse the rest of it off and then we'll get to washing. Oh, nice and warm. Look at that, the soap doesn't even wanna stick. It's a good indication of strong protection. Now it's a cool fall day. It's not too hot, it's not really too cold. It actually just feels perfect. But having warm water in your buckets, oh, it just makes the whole washing experience so much nicer. Ah, these didn't come out with the little light rinse that I did. Get in there. Again, if this was a customer's car, I would have pressure washed the vehicle, obviously. What are you doing, mister? Hi. 
What's up? I like this. So guys, how did we do? Did it remove overspray? Ah, oh, I think it did. It's nice and smooth again. And I don't see anything on the paint. You pull some focus and I don't see anything on the paint except for amazing water beads. Okay, that's really, really good. I don't see I don't feel anything, I don't see anything now. Nice and smooth, feels really good. Okay, good. All right, let's dry it and then we will see what it looks like after. Okay guys, so I'm very happy that that overspray didn't stick onto the paint. I was a little worried, you never know what it could have been. I don't, I don't know if it was paint overspray. Sometimes concrete dust will be in the air and that can land on the paint and attach itself, but just temporarily, just a little bit. You can tell that it was kind of wiping away, but it still had a texture on the paint. You wanna be really careful with that. You do not wanna use a quick detailer or anything like that to try and get that stuff off because it's way too abrasive and you could really mess up your paint. So when you see that happen, if you have no other choice, bring it to a car wash and at least wash it. At least get it clean, get water on there and soap and whatever cleaners to hopefully lessen the bond of any type of chemical or paint or concrete dust or anything that might have attached to your paint. At least that'll start to break it down and hopefully it won't be as bad when you actually go to wash it and contact wash it. But again, make sure to have your paint protected and your plastic and your glass and everything. It makes a huge difference because you have a sacrificial barrier on your paint that will be able to take any of that stuff that might be in the air from bugs to bird droppings to overspray and concrete dust and any type of construction. We do have a lot of construction here in Richmond. That happened today and I don't even know where it happened. By this afternoon, I noticed that it was on the car and I came home right away and washed it to make sure that that was not going to adhere. That was good. I was really happy that it all came off with no problem. Crisis averted. No clay barring, nothing else, just a gentle wash and that was it. At least my car's clean for the evening. Yeah, we'll see what happens this weekend if I even need to wash it or maybe just a touch up because I have some new products. So guys, let me know, have you ever had an overspray issue on your car and it was a nightmare? Did you have to pull out the clay bar and all sorts of chemicals to be able to remove that or even have to wet sand it? I've had to wet sand paint before with 3000 grit to remove overspray. It came out great, but you don't wanna go that aggressive, but sometimes you have to. So let me know down below, have you ever had to deal with overspray what was your solution? What did you use to remove that overspray? So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and help the channel to grow. And don't forget to click on that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And again, guys, if you're interested in any of the apparel, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the mugs, please purchase some of that stuff because the funds go into an account for giveaways on this channel. That way I can give away products and tools to you. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a safe week. Take care.